Hi, I'm Andy, the Trend Follower. It's Saturday, the 4th of April, 2020, and welcome to this week's review of the different asset classes. I don't know which asset class is going to do best, so I follow all of them. Shares, property, gold, commodities, cryptocurrency, and bonds. Let's start off looking at stocks or shares. First of all, I use a fund to get exposure to shares, uh, and the price of the fund that I follow has been rising in the past couple of weeks, but it did close below the green line, so I'm staying in cash. To be honest, if it had closed above the line, would I be investing now? My default financial instinct is pessimistic, a bit like chicken licking. I think the sky is always going to fall on my head. But maybe this is the start of a V-shaped melt-up powered by governments printing money. What else is everyone going to do with the money in their pockets? Can I trust myself to invest if I get a buy signal next week? I don't know. We'll see going to look at property next and the property fund that I use it rose a bit this last week good thing too because I'm still invested reluctantly if you remember it fell so far and so fast that I couldn't get out quickly I hadn't set a stop loss order and I couldn't get out at a reasonable price okay that was a very expensive lesson uh, and I'm not a happy bunny that's for sure I'm praying for this v-shaped melt up that may or may not happen we'll see let's look at gold next and this rose further this week I've put a stop loss order in place uh, just in case it falls down and I'll move it up a little bit on Monday I've learned my lesson here Commodities are the next asset class and this is this fund is well below the green line so I'm in cash uh, mostly. I did buy a little last week because it seems such good value uh, but it still managed to drop a little bit further this last week so maybe I'll regret dipping that toe in the water. We'll see. Cryptocurrency is next and there's been some recovery in the price these last two weeks. Good thing too because I'm a reluctant holder of this crypto as well. Uh, I hadn't meant to stay in. Same problem. Fell too fast, too quickly. Uh, anyway, no signal to invest back into this crypto just yet. I don't trade in and out of bonds. I just remain invested in three differently denominated bond ETFs, one in pounds, one in euros and one in US dollars. It hedges my bets uh, a little bit. Right, here are the traffic light signals for each of the asset classes. Shares, I'm in cash here. There's no buy signal yet. I should be in cash uh, in property, uh, but I'm not. I'm staying invested in gold. There's no change there. I have put a protective stop loss order in place though. No buy signal for commodities yet. Uh, no buy signal uh, for crypto yet either. And my bond funds always stay invested. So what am I going to do this week? I'm going to move my gold stop loss order up just a little bit. Do you want to see a weekly update about what I do? Make sure you're signed up to my email list. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a regular person much like you so if you copy anything I do you are doing it at your own risk this isn't advice uh, regard it as entertainment okay have a great week I'll do another video for you next weekend thanks for joining me and bye for now